Welcome to Aida's Kitchen. Bienvenidos. My name is Aida Lugo McAllister and I am going to demonstrate how to prepare coffee with milk using an espresso coffee maker and milk frother. Last month, I uploaded a video on how to prepare Puerto Rican coffee with milk, café con leche, the traditional method, which is adding ground coffee to boiling water and then straining the coffee with a cloth strainer. In that video, I also mentioned that you can have the same results if you prepare the coffee with milk with an espresso coffee maker and milk frother. Many individuals requested that I create a video demonstrating how to use both kitchen equipments. Make sure that you read your user manual in its entirety before operating the espresso coffee maker and milk frother. My friend sent me two different types of coffee from Puerto Rico last week, Café Oro de Puerto Rico and Gusto's Coffee Company. It smells so good, can't wait to try it. Espresso is coffee, but concentrated coffee. Espresso beans are roasted longer, darker, and ground finer for a rich and deep coffee flavor. Use coffee that is specifically roasted for making espresso with fine coffee grinds. For this cooking demonstration, I will be using Bustelo that is labeled as espresso ground coffee. You can also purchase whole roasted espresso beans and grind them yourself. Let's prepare the espresso coffee maker. This is a Gros Milano stovetop six cup espresso maker. Let's unscrew the top half of the espresso pot. There are three main components. The lower chamber, also called boiler, the filter basket, and the upper chamber, also called the coffee collector. This is a safety valve located on the side of the lower chamber, which regulates the amount of pressure building up in the unit. The bottom of the upper chamber has a silicone gasket seal that can be replaced if damaged. We can now pour the water into the lower chamber just below the safety valve. You can see the safety valve inside the lower chamber. Insert the filter basket and fill with ground coffee. Level the coffee with the back of a spoon without applying too much pressure because a firm pack will increase the steam pressure. Remove any coffee grounds around the rim before screwing the upper chamber on tightly. Place on top of stove on a small burner over medium-low heat. It will take approximately seven minutes for the water to boil. Once the water boils, it will generate steam and the steam will create enough pressure to force the water into the coffee grounds and then into the upper chamber to collect the finished espresso coffee. After seven minutes, you will hear the water percolating and the coffee trickling out of the spout into the upper chamber of the pot. 
the coffee is thick and dark. Close the lid to complete the brewing process. When you hear a gurgling sound, it is an indication that the water in the lower chamber is almost empty. Our espresso coffee is done. Turn off the burner. Stir coffee with a spoon to blend well before pouring. The entire espresso making process takes at least six to nine minutes. We are ready to froth the milk with a Breville milk frother. There are three main components, the power base with a temperature dial, milk jug, and lid. The milk frother comes with one disc for lattes and another for cappuccinos. I inserted the cappuccino frothing disc inside the milk jug. When using a milk jug frother, you will be able to froth and heat milk at the same time. As I mentioned earlier, I inserted the cappuccino disc inside the milk jug. Let's pour one and a quarter cups of whole milk, making sure that the milk is between the minimum and maximum measurement markings. The milk should be cold and whole milk is recommended for a smooth and even foam. Cover milk jug with lid. Make sure it is securely attached. Turn the start-stop dial to desired temperature. Whether you plan to froth milk for a latte or cappuccino, select the temperature within the optimum milk temp range. I normally select the temperature just over the 140 degrees Fahrenheit mark. Press the start-stop button to start the frothing process. When the milk frothing is completely done, you will hear an alert sound indicating that the milk foaming process is complete. This will take approximately two minutes. We just completed heating and foaming the milk. Remove milk jug from power base and place on a heat resistant trivet. I removed the lid so that you can see the foam on top and when you tilt the milk jug you can see the heated milk at the bottom. Even though the milk frother can heat the milk without the foam, I discovered that if I use the cappuccino disc, I can serve two different types of coffee for my visitors. Café con leche, coffee with milk, and cappuccino. Let's prepare one cup of coffee with warm milk and another cup of coffee with warm milk and topped with steamed milk foam. Since I like my espresso coffee with sugar, let's add one teaspoon of sugar or to taste into each cup. We can now pour the espresso coffee. Let's pour the warm milk according to your liking. This is perfect for me. Not too dark and not too light. With this cup, spoon out the milk foam and 
place on top. Stir to combine all the ingredients and this is optional. We have here a cup of coffee with warm milk, our café con leche, and a cup of cappuccino with warm milk and foam. Enjoy! I just finished making two different types of coffee with the same milk prepared in the milk frother. Let's taste both cups of coffee. Mm. The cup of coffee with warm milk has a milky flavor that tastes exactly like our traditional café con leche. Mm. The cappuccino coffee is much creamier due to the steamed milk foam. Both cups of coffee have a rich and deep coffee flavor. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare coffee with milk using the Espresso Coffee Maker and Milk Frother. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.